my name is Leanne, so today I thought I would recommend you a relatively new favourite of mine, something a bit different, and that is the short story collection Elephant and Other Short Stories by Raymond Carver. Um, it is one that I discovered more recently when I was studying him in university and his use of very simple language to create such complex stories and concepts really blew my mind and completely changed the way not, I not only read but write and I would highly highly recommend that you check him out if you're into a lot of like deeper um, meaning and layering and um, people taking simple language and using it to the utmost of effectiveness. Um, so Elephant by Raymond Carver, definitely check him out. <laughs> hey guys, my name is Jay and I am from the channel The Awkward Bookworm. The book that I am going to recommend for you guys today is Vinyl by Sophia Elaine Hansen. The best way that I could describe this book is that it is a gritty steampunk dystopian novel where music is used as a weapon. It also has a great diverse cast and LGBTQ plus elements to the story. I think it is totally underrated and you should definitely check it out if you get the chance. Hey guys, I'm Allie from Hardback Quarter. I recently found a new favorite this year. That is If We Were Villains. I had originally listened to this and then I went out and bought it. ML Rio just did such a fantastic job crafting this book. He follows our main character. He is getting out of prison and the detective that was on his case who is now retired comes back and is like, I want to know what really happened that night. So this looks back on his years at like this private acting school. There are this group of friends, they've been together like through their whole years there and they have such great dynamics. There's just these complicated relationships and they've just really gotten used to the roles that they're playing. Everything is fine and dandy and then one of them is found dead in the lake outside the school. And this follows the events not just up to that but also after that and how everyone is just kind of taking in that news and readjusting to life and figuring out the new roles that they are playing as well. Everything is just so vividly crafted and it's just you can see it in your mind, you're right there and I was just blown away. The end of it gave me cold chills and just overall it was just so well done. So yeah, hope you enjoy. I'm Jay from Captured in Words and the book that I would like to recommend is one that I seem to not be able to stop recommending to people who like fantasy and that is The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. Now I have read a lot of fantasy and for some reason this book is one that I always seem drawn back to, I always seem to be thinking about. To give a very very brief description, this book is an autobiography of a once famous man who was an adventurer, an arcanist, and a musician. And he's basically undercover telling the truth behind all of the legends that revolve around his life. In essence, it's a story about a person telling stories about people telling stories, and it is just a fantastic story. <laughs> There's just something about the way that the protagonist tells his story that it feels like it's coming from his heart and soul and I've never read that in a book before. Music plays a really big role in this book considering the protagonist plays the lute and sometimes that kind of musical element seems to carry into the prose because the writing is just very very beautiful and because of that it just feels very unique to me. So yeah, that's the book that I recommend, The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. Hey Julia, it's Peter from Peter Likes Books. Thank you for asking me to do this. So anybody that watches my videos on a regular basis knows that hands down my all time favorite book forever and ever will always be Harper Lee's To Kill a Mockingbird. But in discussing how to find your next favorite book, it's very interesting what my second favorite book of life is and that is Julie Murphy's Dumplin'. I'm absolutely Die hard fan of Julie Murphy's work. I just finished reading Ramona Blue and likewise loved, loved, loved it. But how I found this book was that I all the time go to Target or bookstores and I just roam the new books that come through. And for me, I read this and the inside cover talks about how it's about a beauty pageant and a girl that has eating issues, which I do as well. I have a lot of weight issues. And so I read it and then the selling point for me is I love a good cover. Here she is in her beauty pageant dress. But on the back, she's in her beauty pageant bathing suit. And I was like, oh my God. And it also mentioned Dolly Parton at the very beginning of this. So I was like, Dolly Parton, beauty pageants, all of this. But this book is so much more than that. And I absolutely, absolutely loved it. So you should all go check out Dumplin' by Julie Murphy. It's hands down one of my all-time favorite books of life. I love you guys. Bye. 
Hello everyone, my name is Jill from the channel Midnight Reads and today I'm going to be talking about one of my absolute favorite books of all time and that is Strange Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. Now if you've followed my channel at all, you will know that this is one of my favorite books of all time considering that I find a way to mention it in almost every single one of my videos. Seriously, I have a problem. I read this book a few months ago and I can honestly say without a shadow of doubt that this is the most beautiful book that I've read in my entire life. Life. This is this really magical high fantasy story following this librarian named Laszlo Strange and he ends up coming across this city that has been lost and I don't want to say anything else other than that because I feel like it's so much better going into this book blind considering that Laszlo is a librarian and his biggest thing is that he has such a big imagination and all these kinds of things like that I felt like I was so identified in this story as a reader and it just made me feel all warm inside and I just it is so good and it is so complex and it is such a story and I love it so much. It takes a little bit of getting into but once you get past that it is seriously a gorgeous novel and I just hope that everyone reads it because I love it that much. Hi my name is Livia and one of my favorite books and I can talk about this book all the time and I do talk about it all the time is Unwind by Neil Shusterman. This book had me hooked from the first book and with the entire series, one of my favorite things is that, is that each book in the series is wonderful and it's so action packed and it feels like a really top notch YA novel. It's a sci fi dystopian kind of thing and in this world you could, parents can have their children unwound which is where your body is used entirely for parts so there's a huge organ transplant system. It's just extremely thought provoking and it, it's a ride and and it's it's so much I, I just I love this book so much and I can't recommend it enough um, and it's also one of my favorite things is that it handles different points of views really well sometimes you know it's really easy to find a certain point of view boring but this one it's just it's entertaining throughout the entire novel and I highly recommend it Hey guys, I am from the channel Julia Sapphire, the channel you're on right now if you do not know me already. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. It's a video that means a lot to me personally and that I just put a lot of effort into, so I really hope you guys enjoyed it. So basically, in the beginning, I mentioned Goodreads and I also mentioned New Reads, which um, they are sponsoring this video. I'm totally open with that. Um, basically, there's a link in the description for the site and yeah, I thought it was a cool site. I really liked the concept of it or else I wouldn't have accepted it because <laughs> I do deny a lot of emails and stuff. But yes, so I hope you guys check that site out. I really like the concept of it. My recommendation, um, you would expect me to recommend The Virgin Suicides if you've been here, but I'm actually going to be recommending another favorite of this year and that is What I Lost by Alexandra Ballard. So this book is about a 16 year old girl and she is in a treatment facility for anorexia and it's about her experiences there, the people she meets, it's about her dealing with her own struggles, her mental health struggles, and you know, how parents can respond to these kind of things and how she's coping and she's meeting people in this facility and things like that. Overall, it was really powerful and heartwarming and just overall a fantastic book that I absolutely adored, so highly recommend. Obvious trigger warnings for eating disorders with this book, and if there's any others, I'll put them on the screen because I can't remember off the top of my head. But again, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I'm going to have everyone's channel that was in this video linked in the description box, and thank you to those people for participating. I really appreciate it, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out New Reads as well. The link is in the description box. And see you all very soon with a new video. Bye. It's like